finally here, John. It's uh, Colin Farrell's Penguin. Uh, Penguin. This is the official teaser from Max. Penguin. Um, we've heard about this for many years now, two years to be exact, since the Batman came out. Penguin. That they were going to do a spin-off. They're doing it. So this is an original series. It's not a film, it's an original series. I'm looking yes. forward to this. This was a character I thought was quite underplayed for the right reasons in the Batman film. Yeah. An introduction was rising to, up. Yeah, to his... Oh, that car chase alone was fantastic, iconic. Yeah. It was more Falcone, wasn't it, but in I, the film? I, I kind of got a feeling this is going to be very Godfather-esque. Hopefully. Yeah. So. It was based... Um, did they not originally want to do a Gotham City Police TV mm-hmm. show? The yeah. corruption making its way into the police force and just into the authorities in, in the Gotham. And then they changed it to Penguin. I think that's so the wise Potentially, thing it's yeah. maybe a, a continuation of that story, but we've got Penguin in there. Yeah. Maybe orchestrating things. Uh, how involved is Matt Reeves in this? Just I think maybe he's as produced, produced it and he's yeah. maybe wrote some of it as well. I think yeah. he is pretty involved. Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, from Matt Reeves. Excellent. So, yeah. And it's obviously HBO. Yeah. Who do fantastic TV shows. I don't know if it's HBO Max or it's just Max, mm-hmm. the streaming service. I think I've changed the name. I think it's HBO. Why you drop HBO is another thing entirely. Yeah. What the fuck are you doing? Synonymous with excellence. Why would you change it? Clowns. But anyway, I digress. Shall we get into this, Stephen? Yeah, I'm looking forward it, yeah. to it. Colin Farrell's an incredible actor. It's almost sacrilegious to take a guy of that standing, good looking guy as well, um, renowned for his acting ability, and put that much prosthetic on him to the point where you don't even recognise him. This, it's like, why would you even bring Colin Farrell in? This could liberate an actor though, doing yeah, this. I suppose, I suppose yeah. yeah. It's like Andy Serkis. Yeah. Becoming the mocap king. Yeah. Play off. Subtitles for this. <laughs> what a <laughs> that, fucking logo. That was a bit Godfather. Yeah. Logo there going on with the Batman. When I was a kid. There was a gangster. Real old school type. Rex Calabresi. He was a big deal. He helped people. He saw you on the street, he called out to you. When I'm 14 or something, he has a heart attack and dies. Still holding a cigar. In my neighborhood, they throw a parade in his honor. Freaking parade. I mean, it wasn't fancy, but it was a gesture. Wow. To show love of what he meant. Can you imagine to be remembered like that? I like the way they structured that, yeah. Stephen. Um, through him telling this story about another gangster who was loved and respected and celebrated by the city, the community. Yeah. Sort of longing in there, but then also maybe some disgust. Yeah. He's like, I don't want to be. <laughs> but then he perhaps does want to be. Just a fantastic performance and like a, a one in a bit minute long teaser. That's what you expect from Colin Farrell, John. But um, as you said, just his, his, his look um, makes you forget it some. Yeah. Um, it's going to be interesting to see the sort of time span of this series as well. How far it's going to go in. Is it going to be a a, a thing that's going to be on for quite a while? Or is it going to be a one and done series bridging a gap between the next Batman film? I don't know what, what's going on, but... Um, I'm looking forward to it. I don't know how, how are we going to access this? What, what, yeah, it'll be on HBO, HBO, which is probably... I don't know, I know you can access it through Sky, can't you? I think they're maybe yeah. separating and doing their own streaming service over yeah. here shortly. Yeah, I hope I'm so. not entirely sure, though. Yeah. Um, I think if I search Max up, it'll probably give me a dog or something. Um, can we get that? Uh, I don't know. I think we probably can. I think yeah. by the time this comes out, we'll probably be able to access it by the this. streaming service. Because if it's through Sky, we're fucked. Um, yeah. I'll tell you that right now. We'll not be reacting to it. We'll still be able to watch it. But Stephen, I'm all for connecting out into different sort of content medium, if you like, of content, TV show, film, expanding this world, yeah. this story. That version of Batman and of that city it was fantastic. Really enjoyed it. Yeah. The greatness, sort of emo-esque Batman. 
And just the the way that we structured, though not we, Matt Reeves structured it, the way we consumed it, yeah. really enjoyed it. And yeah. I'm all for just again expanding totally, it out. It's the same. It's the same. Even though the shots, yeah. the locations, yeah. the bridge, the interrogation room. Oh, and it, it kind of yeah. gives the penguin like as a character there. that limelight, you know, that he's, he should deserve. You know, we've seen him in so many sort of versions throughout Batman films. We've seen him in the Gotham series, but not enough. The fact that they're dedicating a whole series to this guy is very intriguing indeed. I think it's clever because yeah. we're not ever going to be able to dedicate that much time to a character of that ilk not in, in a Batman yeah. film because yeah. it's all about Batman. Yep. He's always going to be a side thing. You're never going to have an hour and a half, two hours, maybe even depending on how long this is. I don't know if it's a limited show or it's a full-on show. You're not going to have four or five hours exactly. to spend with the Penguin. You're just not. It's so the same it's with Kingpin clever. over at Daredevil, John. Yeah. You can't do a Kingpin film and people are going to be interested no. with, obviously, Vincent D'Onofrio. I thought the way they did that through a, a web series was the best way to do it. So what, Give them time. What Sony are doing as well, Stephen? Yeah. These villain films, they're not all hitting off. Yeah. But if even one does, and it makes its way into a Spider-Man film, that changes the way you view the villain. You've spent time with him. You're then not just, he's a bad guy, just discard him. There's a bit of, I don't know, jeopardy there yeah. on the villain side. We're actually almost rooting for the villain in some strange way. Yeah. When you build up a relationship with a character... And then he pops up in a film alongside the traditional hero. It changes things. So it definitely does, yeah. It's intriguing. I'm intrigued to see how it plays out. Uh, we Colin Farrell in there. Certainly worth a watch because he's a fantastic actor. Yeah. A good Irishman as well. But I digress. <laughs> we just round it up there, Stephen. I don't yeah, know anything else to say. What's your thoughts on the penguin then? The pengling is Benedict Cumberbatch would call it. Penguin. Peng penguin. <laughs> What's your thoughts on the penguin? <laughs> Even I'm doing it now. <laughs> <laughs> it's losing meaning. Share your thoughts down below about the show, about the concept, about Colin Farrell, about the faces in there, continuation of this Matt Reeves sort of universe. <laughs> but our reaction, anything you feel compelled to share, you can put down below in the comment section. You can also like the video if you've enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon to get notifications straight to your eyes for future content like this. What's left to be said, though, until the next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.